Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll design the simple model using part design tools. We'll use revolution and additive loft of part design workbench to create this model. So I hope you liked the video and if you can support the channel with a donation, I really appreciate it. To support the channel, simply access the first link in the description of this video. Okay, now let's go to FreeCAD, create a new document and switch to the part design workbench. Okay, first here what we'll do is to create a sketch. We'll create a sketch in which we'll draw this section and then we'll use the revolution tool to create this salt here. Create a new sketch, select to IZ plane for this sketch and now zoom out and go to sketch geometry and select polyline tool and now what we'll do is to draw a section of this section view here so what you do first here we'll draw this horizontal line and next this vertical line and this horizontal line now select r tool and connect these two points here okay and now escape and select this point here what you'll do with this point is to set this constraint here tangent okay and now we can set the size of the sketch here select constraint distance tool click in this line here for this line we'll set a length of 5 to off of 10 we'll set 5 here and for this horizontal line here we'll set 22 okay and now zoom in and for this horizontal line here we'll set a length of 12 okay and now we have one degree of freedom so what you need to do now is to constrain this point here in this vertical line select this point and next this vertical line and now this constraint here and leave this sketch press home and now revolution tool change the axis here to y axis and click ok as you can see now we have this all here and the next thing to do is to create these plates here to create these plates you will need to create a new sketch and we'll draw the section here so let's do that let's go to FreeCAD create a new sketch in the top plane select XY plane here switch to the session view and now let's draw this sketch here okay go to sketch geometry and select arc tool and let's draw this arc and next this arc here and now this arc in these two points and now in these two points okay and next here we'll set these points tangent so first we'll select this point here and set tangent okay and now let's set the vertical and this vertical and horizontal dimension select constraint select constraint vertical distance and now what we need to do is to select this point here and then this point select this point and this point here and here we'll set a length of 10 for this first session let's set 10 here and also a name for this dimension you can set this name here and ok and now select select horizontal distance tool and now what you need to do is to select this point here and this point we'll select this point here and this point and 1.8 okay and now we need to set these two arcs here equal so select equal constraint and now this arc and this arc here okay and now as you can see we have five degrees of freedom let's set uh, the rates of these arcs select constraint cycle now this arc here and we'll set 20 for this arc we'll set this dimension 
okay and for this arc here we'll set 15 okay and now let's set rid of these small arcs here here we have this okay let's set 0 0.125 and okay okay and now what you need to do is to full constrain this sketch so let's select this vertical line here and next this point here and this constraint here okay and now let's set the distance between this origin point to this point here select vertical distance tool and now this origin point and zoom in and select this point here let's set one here okay now as you can see we have this so let's leave this sketch okay and now what you'll do is to create is to create a copy of this sketch here okay select this sketch and then copy icon okay and here we'll select only this sketch here and enter and now what you'll do is to parse this sketch here three times to get these four stations okay okay and now select these three sketches drag the sketch into this body here okay now as you can see we have these four sketches these four sessions and the next thing to do is to apply these parameters in these sketches so first we will change the bounds of this first sketch here sketch one okay here in this table we can see four for the z duration for the z position and eight of ten so what you do now we need to select this sketch here and then we go to attachment position and z position here we'll change to four millimeters set four here and now let's go to this second sketch here here we can see 15 for the z position and 15 for the angle and 12 for the eight so what you do here will change sorry change here to 15 okay and now we go to sketch and constraints here in this dimension we'll change to 12 here will change to 12 and also we need to change the angle to 15 degrees so let's go to attachment click here and angle let's set 15 here and now let's go to the session 3 here will change the position here will change the z position to 20 click here and set 20 for the z position and we have angle of 20 change here to 20 and then here we have 14 for the 8 so what you do we go to sketch constraints and we set 14 here the 8 okay and now press home and select this session 4 go to attachment okay first here we can see this position z position 35 here so what you do click in this arrow here and set 34 here okay and now we'll change the angle here to 30 okay and then let's go to constraints here must be 10 okay it's okay okay and next to create this salt here the salt here what you can do is to use this tool here a diff loft tool of part design of punch to use this tool here we need to select the free section select this sketch here this free sketch and then click in this tool okay and now add these all sessions to add these sessions 
what you need to do is to click on this button and now at this first this second session and now click again and at this session and again and now select this sketch here and then click OK okay as you can see we have this part here and okay here we need to change the y position of session 4 we need to change to 5 millimeters so let's go cool. click in this arrow and select sketch 4 and then go to attachment position and y duration here we need to change to 5 set 5 here and enter now as you can see we have the split okay and the next thing to do is to create a polar pattern of these splits in this part here so what you need to do is to select this active loft operation and then go to the polar pattern tool okay and here first we need to change the axis of this operation so click here and let's select y axis okay and now we need to change the number of occurrence to here set 12 set 12 okay as you can see we have this and click ok okay now we have these all bleeds here and now what we'll do is to create this hole to create this hole, we'll use this hole here, hole tool. What you need to do is to select this face here and then this tool. And now we'll change the depth of this hole to 10 millimeters. And the diameter here must be 8. Let's set 8. Okay, as you can see, we have this hole here and we need to change here scroll down we need to change the drill point here to be flat and okay okay this is the final model okay thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching this video